Total Precision 5510. Uh, what we're going to do here, we're going to upgrade the, uh, the hard drive or the SSD. We're going to go from SSD 850. We're going to go from SSD 850. I think it has 850, the EVO, the standard. We're going to go down to the VNAND 950. Pro M2 V NVM Express. I hate this name. It's a crazy name. 512 gigs. All right. So I already undid all the screws. Have to get the precision screwdriver set. That's the too small one. Yeah, like these. So there's. I'll focus. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of these all the way around. And then these two screws are hidden inside here. And this is a standard uh, Phillips. Okay? So you did all that, then a couple of components, here are the memories, uh, CPU and GPU, or GPU and CPU, here's that EVO drive, which we're going to upgrade. But first what we have to do, the challenge is that we have to uh, transfer all the data from the uh, from disk drive to disk drive. So to transfer the data I have to plug this in first. I have to plug this in first to transfer the data and uh, run a migration software to do that, okay? To insert, align the notch. Insert on the angle. And then you have to screw this in. I don't have a screw. I'm gonna just use one of these screws from the from the chassis. That's too small. Let me see if I can find a proper screw. So, um, somebody might have opened this before. I believe there should be a screw. Just looking to see if I have a screw that size. We're gonna see maybe we take this screw out. And insert it here. Okay, I think this screw works better here than here. We have two screws here. Well, let's keep one in. So we move to this screw to this, because eventually just this is gonna stay in. Okay, so we're gonna put the cover back on. We're going to need to go in a BIOS.
gonna go system configuration. This should be under system information. Let's see if it shows up here as the SG2 M2E. Okay, so that's it. We can exit, boot into Windows. From here we're gonna go to uh, to Samsung website. From here we're gonna go to Samsung website, Samsung SSD upgrade software. Tools and software download. Data migration. We're gonna go here. The migration software, I guess we'll pick the first one. Download this. Let's go on the downloads. Double click on that. Yes. English, sure, next. Welcome to install shield next. I accept next. Yes, sure, install. Yay, finish. Now it's starting and now we should see both drives. <coughs> Some say that a migration can migrate your OS. Okay, start. Source disk is our C drive, destination, target. Okay, why is it not? Please connect to Samsung SSD. Okay, this should work. See what's going on. Disk management. Oh, doesn't even see it. Okay. Why doesn't it see it? go back to it and see what's going on but we did see it in the uh, in the BIOS okay so we'll have to figure out what what went wrong okay so what I'm gonna do here is run the update so that system recognizes the new hard drive even though it's recognized in the uh, in the BIOS um, the Windows just doesn't see it uh, so we'll just use the uh, precision optimizer to run all necessary updates Hey, so if you notice here, everything got installed and now we just have to restart. And uh, after restart, it should be seeing this hard drive. So now I go to device manager and then this is actually showing up. Yay, after the update. We can also go to, yeah, and then we found the hard drive in here. Okay, so now you can see it in the device uh, disk management, and from disk management you can you can go ahead and uh, start the Samsung Magician. So we navigate to Samsung. Come on, click on Samsung. Data migration. So say yes. So once it loads, you should be able to see two disks now. Okay, yeah, here we go. We see the source disk and a destination disk. Uh, they're both roughly the same size, about 500 gigabytes. That's your source, that's your destination. We can go ahead and click start. 
Yeah, disk zero and disk one is the new one. That's the SSD 950 NVMe. Okay, you click start, it's gonna tell you it's gonna erase everything, just say yes. Uh, we're gonna destroy whatever's on there. Yeah, so this, this typically only takes a few minutes. It runs actually pretty fast. Okay, I guess it's still thinking about it. Right, there it is moving. Okay. Uh, the transfer rate should go up considerably. I think it like averages it out over from the start. Okay, see it going up. Maybe maybe it'll hit 300 megabytes. Well, better hit 300 megabytes. Let's see. Okay, well, well I guess we'll just let it finish, however long it's going to take. Ah, nice, zoom in, check that out, okay? So as you can see here, it's going about 270 megabytes a second. Uh, total time is about what, 13 minutes. So, yeah, it shouldn't take more than that. Okay, so it shows now it's been copied successfully to the Samsung SSD. So what we can do now is swap them and then I can boot off the NVMe drive and the window should be much, much faster. Ah, if it's alive. So what I made here, just for your demonstration purposes, I cloned the drive from one drive to another. So I'm just going to show you. So we're going to need to shut down the windows now. So uh, since the new hard drive is working, now we're going to remove the old hard drive. The old one is the 850 EVO 500GB. Uh, there's a couple of screws. Of course I'm lazy and I don't take off all the screws. I just want to pull it out. But there's a screw in there that I got to remove. Okay, so take that out. Then we can just disconnect the hard drive and then put the covers back on and that's it. So here it is. I'm just going to remove the hard drive, pull it out, disconnect it. Uh, just make sure nothing's loose in there. Put it back in, put the old screws back in. Um, then just put in the cover back on and uh, just test the system. Uh, what I've noticed though, the system is slightly bit faster, but it's not a huge difference. It's going from a regular hard drive to a SSD. Going to N NVMe is just slightly faster, or maybe this basically just isn't a super powerful PC.